Now the first step in our market research is to create a survey. So what you want to do is go ahead to Google and just type in Google Forms. Now there are many different tools that you can use for surveys, but personally I have found Google Forms to be the best. It is very simple to use. The built-in analytics are very solid and you can create unlimited surveys and get unlimited responses for free. So go ahead and type that into Google and then click on through. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and click create a blank survey. And this will open up and we just want to give our survey a name. So for me, I'm just going to put in digital marketing survey. So what I suggest you do put in you know whatever your topic is or potentially your product name or your service name something simple in there just to really communicate to yourself and to other people really what the survey is about and then once you've got that done what we want to do is add in our first question so we're going to add in our first question we are going to make this a short answer and what you want to type in here is the first of our three magic questions, which is, what is your biggest problem with? Now, what you want to do here is put in whatever your topic or your, your niche is. So, for example, I'm just going to say digital marketing. Obviously, you want the spelling to be good, so we can change this and tidy it up. Now you might be thinking, well, that is a pretty simple and obvious question, but actually the questions that we'll be putting in this survey are extremely strategic. And this first question is designed to identify the problems and the pain points of your potential customers. So that is really going to allow us to identify the, the pain point, which is critical because every product or service must first solve a problem that the customer has. Now, the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and actually delete this question that's there by default. And we're going to go and add in our second question. And this time we're going to allow them to be able to write a little bit of a longer response. Now, the second question, which is also extremely strategic, is this. I've just copied and pasted it for speed here. But the question is, why would it make a difference in your life to get a good answer for this problem or find a solution for your need? Details, please. So this question, once again, is designed to really get some great answers out of people. And so this question was really designed to identify problems. This question is really to identify the ideal outcome. What does the ideal solution look like? And what are the benefits emotionally and the benefits logically? So these are very important questions because if we know their pain points and we know what their ideal solution looks like, then all we have to do is create the product or the service that will take them from where they are now to where they want to be. And all the language here that they say about their problems and pain points and where they want to be is all the language that we can use on our sales pages and our emails on our marketing materials because we can just take the language that people have said to us, use it in our marketing materials and that will really connect with the potential customers. Now the third magic question that we are going to add to our survey is a multiple choice question. So this is it here. How difficult has it been for you to find a good answer for the above to date? And we want we can put in not at all difficult. Oh, we can add in just uh, we want to add another response. So add option. Somewhat difficult. and very difficult. So this question is extremely important because we want to identify problems that are not 
well solved in the marketplace. That's how we're really going to get ahead. If they have a problem and they have a solution and it's not at all difficult to find that solution, well, then we're not going to be able to sell anything. So this is a really filtering question. And we want to identify those problems or those outcomes that people have had a real struggle uh, achieving. So we, we can use this final question as a way to really filter our results. And I'm going to show you my results. So this becomes very, very clear. Now, the final question that you might want to add in as a bonus is really this one. So add your email below if you'd like to be contacted when we have a solution to your problem. And what we can just put in here is a short answer once again. So this is the way that with this question, you can build up an email list of potential customers even before you have created the solution or even before you've ever written a blog post or anything like that. So to recap, we have gone through the steps to set up a market research survey with Google Forms for free. And most importantly, the three magic questions to ask so that you can identify those products and services that people desperately need and also get those powerful words and phrases that you can use in your sales copy.